uh, fan favorites Michelle Stafford and Melissa Claire Egan. Their characters Phyllis and Chelsea are wasting no time reestablishing themselves as power players, and stirring up some trouble along the way. Were you waiting long? Um, What's 30 minutes when you're building dreams? <laughs> uh, do you mind if I grab something to drink? By all means. I just want to arm myself with some scalding hot coffee. You know, just in case. <laughs> well, oh, that's good. Fake laugh and inviting me to coffee as if we're friends. Reeks of desperation. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. I got the chance to chat with uh, Michelle and Melissa about their big return to Genoa City. So you both are returning to roles that you've once played. What's it like taking a leave of absence and then coming back uh, to playing these iconic roles? It's awesome. Pretty awesome. It's been a really fun <laughs> summer so far. Um, how do you? How did you feel about I'm, it? I'm, well, I'll tell you, Missy. You tell me, Michelle. I'll, I'll tell you. Um, it, it, it's great. I mean, I didn't think that I would come back. Did you? Right. I wasn't sure. I wasn't oh, you sure. Wasn't sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. You had some some thought maybe yeah. it could happen. I'm really grateful. Um, yeah. yeah our, we just have this great team now of head yeah. writers and producers, yes. and um, the show's been like on fire this summer. A lot of drama happening, a lot of exciting stuff. Um, so I'm really grateful. Really grateful to be back. Are Which, you watching, Bill? I'm, I'm <laughs> with bated breath, and it seems, it seems like you guys aren't having any fun here this morning. Uh, so we appreciate you again spending time with us. You both were, we were, had <laughs> nominated and won awards for these roles before. Just talk about what it's like being on this iconic show. Ooh. Ooh. Well, yeah, I've like never really one. won. She has, but I've only been nominated a bunch won. of times. No. Oh. Thanks for bringing that up, Bill. <laughs> Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, but you've won. No, what? but see, I thought you won. Therefore, you have. See, Michelle Stafford thinks I've won. Yeah, so, I thought you no, won. It's, it's really been, uh, like I said, we're just lucky to have these writers and producers and um, and you know, awards are wonderful, or nom nominations are wonderful. But um, but really, it's just yeah, about working with great people. Money's and better. Telling great, <laughs> yeah, and telling great <laughs> stories. Telling great stories to our amazing fans five days a week is really like the dream job. So yeah, what yeah. Did you say? No, yeah, for sure. I was hired by Bill Bell, which is mm. like so fortunate, right? Yeah. Amazing. It it was very very fortunate to experience that, and I can I can easily say that the show has really gotten back to mm. what Bill envisioned it. Bill Bell's storytelling, um, there was nothing like it. Like, he really knew how to unfold stories, so and that's true. what our head writer Josh is doing now. And I think a lot of people, I'm just seeing from social media when I'm on it, a lot of people are saying, you know, I stopped watching, but now I'm, I started watching again, and it's so good. Yeah. And so we're... It feels good. Yeah, it feels really great to be a part of, like, like, um, this new wave of the of Young and the Restless. Those two are right and fun to talk to. Uh, you can catch the Young and the Restless weekdays at 11 a.m. here on KCTV. Uh, following the Price is Right, then stick around for KCTV 5 News at noon.